What you're about to watch is something that is a common issue with Volkswagens going back to, oof, I don't even know how long. But it's something that has plagued Volkswagen single overhead cam Jettas for God knows how long. And I'm going to show you how bad it really gets at 80,000 miles. See, Volkswagens have these things called get rid of me miles. All cars have them, really. But in Volkswagens, it just happens a way sooner than any other car. Take a listen to the startup, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> misfire on startup. Oh man, it is misfiring. It gets especially bad when you're trying to go into the ranges of 3,000 RPMs to 4,000 RPMs, where the ignition is trying to advance. There are many issues in the whole ignition system that cause this issue. The easiest way to fix it is by replacing everything. It's bullshit. And I'm going to show you in a video later on how I fixed it. Of course, First, watch this video clip. You're gonna laugh your ass off. Running on three cylinders right now due to an engine protection system cut off of cylinder one. Why did it cut off cylinder one? Well, because it was misfiring. Oh yeah, that, sound like a, that sounds like a try dumper thumper to me. Climb the hill, you bitch! <laughs> I mean, it's obvious that all ECM and ECU engine computer systems shut off a cylinder if it feels that the combustion cycle is compromised. To prevent hydrolocking, the engine will cut off a fuel injector to that cylinder. I don't recommend anyone do this. Obvious reasons. The engine is lubricating the cylinder that is not getting gas, so do not worry. But... Here's the thing, you're not combusting on cylinder one, you are however compressing, and there's no combustion phase, the air just escapes out of the cylinders, and it sounds like a Volkswagen Beetle, it's terrible, but you can even hear it thumping like an air compressor out of the exhaust, and that's what it's doing basically, it's just compressing air and then throwing it out. After the misfires I experienced when driving this morning, that was it. Cylinder 1, however, for whatever reason, this engine computer thinks that it's hydrolocking and it shuts fuel off. I do know how to fix it. There's videos on YouTube. Uh, I'll post one of them in the link here in the description. But there's a video of one of the exact same engine light as mine of the fuel injectors actually locking themselves open or flat out breaking and dumping fuel into the engine. There was a lot of quality control things that should have been done with these engines and they had been manufactured and ran and this engine configuration itself had been around since the 90s. Now the engine block and the single overhead cam version of the head of this engine dates back to the 70s and the entire fresh air filter intake system assembly was deteriorating like 80s plastic. You know the old school plastic when you touch it it just breaks and cracks? That's what was going on in a car that is not even seven years old. This is all stuff that Volkswagen was more than likely aware of when they first started doing this stuff but had neglected to change their path and to issue quality control standards across 20 years! 20 this is a serious issue, Volkswagen. I really hope the new CEO addresses these things because it wasn't just Dieselgate that pissed off people with Volkswagen. Car enthusiasts get turned off by this shit because it just shows neglect to do a job right. Now, they've issuing all these recalls for these cars, but none of them have anything to do with the engine problems, which are actually sometimes quite bad, because if someone didn't know what they were doing, and the engine computer did not correct what I just did there by shutting off cylinder one, you could have a really bad and catastrophic failure stranding someone. And that could be a safety concern. And even there in that video, you saw it was slugging to climb the hill. There's also other recalls now that I just got 
One of the most recent ones is the parking brake system, and it can't determine if it's in park or not. Okay, that's not a big concern unless you have a kid. If you have a kid, what do kids like to do? They like to get in their car and pretend they're driving a NASCAR. And what they're going to do is they're going to touch every single button. And if that micro switch goes bad, what are they going to do to the shift lever? They're going to try to move it, and your car's rolling. This is ridiculous, and I, I feel very disappointed. It's a huge turnoff from these vehicles, honestly.